In this video, we are going to have a look at how to install Power BI on a Windows 11 machine using Intune. So to set the scene, I have a Windows 11 machine which is joined to Entra ID and also enrolled into Intune. So let's just check whether we have Power BI on this machine before we go ahead with the installation. So there's no Power BI, there's PowerPoint of course. So let's go back into the Intune portal, so intune.microsoft.com and let's click on Apps on the left hand side and over here you can either list on all apps or you can go it by platform and say windows so you can either click all apps and it lists all the applications that you have installed so far in this tenant to all the device types so it could be windows ios android devices um, over here you can select by platform so you can click on windows and it just lists the applications that we have deployed so far to windows machines so we have deployed chrome Microsoft 365 apps and Sysin Dental Suite so far in the video series. So in order to install Power BI, let's click on the Add button. And on the right hand side, on the app type, let's select Microsoft Store App New and click on Select. Now it says to search the Microsoft Store App and it gives you a link over here. So let's click on that one. And here we need to search for the application that you want to find or to install. So let's search Power BI, let's search Power. And the second option is Power BI Desktop, which is what we want. And the publisher is Microsoft, and the type is UWP, which stands for Universal Windows Platform, which is good. So let's select that and click the Select button. Now Microsoft pre-fills most of the information for us. So it gives us the name as Power BI Desktop, gives a description, publisher is Microsoft, package identifier, so this is the ID in the Microsoft Store, package identifier, uh, installer type is UWP, install behavior, you could either go for user or system, uh, let's go with system because we are trying to deploy it to all the machines that we have, maybe just for the IT machines, or a select group of Power BI users. Category, we could go for productivity, uh, it doesn't matter in this instance because we are not trying to make it available for the devices to install, we are just installing on the set of machines that we want to install. Uh, we could go for an image, like a logo for the application that we are installing, if we are making it available. In this instance, um, it doesn't really matter, so let's just go ahead and click Next. So here we get three options to scope the application installation. So you could either have a group in which you have a set of devices or set of users on which you want this policy to act, or you can just select all users or all devices. So an application like Power BI will only be installed to a select number of users or select a set of machines. Um, so in my instance, I will go for add all devices. But in your case, you may want to add a group when which you have a set of users or the set of devices on which you are trying to install Power BI or on which you are trying to verify the installation in the first place before we open it up to the wider audience. So let's click next in this case. And here we get a summary of what we have done so far. We are trying to install Power BI Desktop. It's a UWP application and it is required and we are selecting all the devices. You could make it available for the enrolled devices. In that case, it becomes available in the company portal and the user has to go and install it manually. And the uninstallation option, we are not trying it out now because we are trying to install the application in the first place. So let's click on Create button. So it creates the application pretty quick. It's saving the application on the top in the toaster. So let's select the toaster. Application has been created. Now let's just wait for the page to load. So it gives you a bare information as to what has been done so far. So we have the properties over here as to what has been done. And on the overview tab, it gives us the status of the application installation on a per device basis and per user basis. So at the moment it is both zero because we haven't installed it yet on the machine. And for that to happen, as it is testing phase, we go into devices to sync the information, which is similar to GP update slash force, trying to sync the policies and the settings onto the device, triggering it manually from the admin side, rather than waiting for the device to check in periodically. So this speeds up things. So let's click on Windows. Let's find the machine on which we are trying to install. So I only have one machine in this tenant, and since we have selected all the devices, this particular machine will be picked up. It's managed by Intune, it's a corporate machine, it's compliant, it's Windows, and gives you the version 
and the primary user who has been logged in and the last check-in time. So let's click on the machine. Let's wait for the properties to load up. And here we get an option that says sync. So when you click on that one, it says Intune will attempt to check in with this device. If the check-in is successful, it will sync the current actions or policies to the device. Would you like to continue? Yes, we would. So this is triggering the sync from the Intune backend onto the device. So let's wait for that to happen. And in the meantime, as an end user, you could also start a sync from the machine. So for that, you could go into settings. And on the left-hand side, we click on accounts and access or work, access work or school. Let's wait for the page to load. Let's go for the enter ID option that we have. Click on the info button. And over here, you get an option called sync within the device sync status setting stamp. So we click on the sync. So here we are triggering the sync from the end device into the Intune platform. So we are triggering and polling the backend to say, okay, do you have anything for me? It could be application, settings, configs, whatever. And it's trying to bring the information back into the device and act on it. So let's wait for the sync to complete and let's see what happens. Now the sync has been completed. So let's close the settings and let's go back onto the start menu and see whether we have Power BI installed. So there it is, Power BI desktop in the recently added section over here. We can also find the application in the all apps section. If we go all the way down to P and there it is Power BI desktop. So we can see that the application has been installed on the Windows 11 machine. So let's now flip back to the Intune portal and see what the portal says. Most of the times it takes a while for the portal to be updated even if the application gets installed on the machine. So now that we have seen that the app is there on the machine, let's see what the portal has to say. So if we go into Windows, so we're going into Apps, we go into Windows, and here we get a list of all the applications and we have deployed Power BI Desktop. So click on that one and oh, sure enough, it has been updated, but most of the times it takes a while for the portal to be updated. So if it is not updated straight away, don't panic. It will get updated in due course. The whole point is to make sure that the application is installed on the machine. And once you have verified that the app is there on the machine, you know you can be rest assured that the portal will get updated uh, in the long run. So this is how we install Power BI on a Windows 11 machine using Intune. If this video has been informative, please do check my other videos on the channel. Do consider subscribing to the channel as I update videos on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Intune, Windows, PowerShell, Azure, and general IT stuff. Thank you.